Hey coach, I had the pleasure of talking to your starting center last season. We talked about pre-snap, what he's looking for, post-snap. And I was just really impressed with how well he was taught. When you're looking at your coaching staff, what goes into strong teachers, and then even just you guys as staff bonding together and so so much time together in film and stuff, you have to have a good camaraderie. So when you're building a coaching staff, what kind of things go into that? Strong teaching, camaraderie within you, you, yourselves? Uh, well, that's a vague question. Uh, you know, Sorry. But I, I, I know, but uh, you know, the thing about where we're at as a program, which I'm excited about, uh, you know, going into year five, the continuity that exists here is pretty strong. Okay, now there's always going to be change, you know, and my job is to evaluate everybody, you know, from, you know, our operations department to, you know, the, the recruiting department, which has grown to seven people, uh, the strength and conditioning department, which is, you know, upwards of about eight people when you add nutrition, you know, and, and, and stuff into that. Um, offensive staff, defensive staff, special team staff. I mean, there's a whole lot of evaluations going on every single year, okay? And so uh, what, what was right for our team a year ago or, or five years ago when I first got here doesn't necessarily mean that it's right for our team year five going into the Big 12, which we're all excited about, okay? So just like I get evaluated every single year, everybody gets evaluated every single year. And, you know, it's just what the profession is. and. I'm, uh, I'm excited about where, what our coaching staff looks like right now. You know, I think we uh, have good continuity on, on defense and a plan with what we want to do. A good, you know, uh, even though there was a couple of changes offensively, we have good continuity on offense and, and, a, and we got a plan of what it needs to look like. Our strength and conditioning department's probably as stable as anywhere in the, in the country. I don't know if, you know, we did add one, uh, Dave Underwood, uh, we added, we added uh, him, uh, had, had one guy move on to go back home to, to Louisville, um, who did a good job for us. But, uh, you know, we've got good continuity in, the, in that as well. So, um, you know, I look for what the best fits are, you know, and, you know, just take the, the offense and the two offensive changes that I made, you know, Coach Nagabi's got good, strong ties here in the city of Houston. Uh, what he did at Tulane last year was extremely impressive. I've had my eye on him for a couple of years. You know, just his past of, you know, Katy High School and, and McNeese State and, um, you know, uh, 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 Louisiana Monroe. He spent one year at Georgia State, one year at Tulane, and made a difference. And so I think he'll make a difference with us here. You know, and Mike Birch, it's a guy that's been here, done that ready for that next step. And so he was the right guy for the job at the right time. You'd be amazed at how many phone calls I got for those two jobs. And we basically didn't interview quarterback coach because we had it. We had him, we interviewed one of the line coach who blew us away because we kind of knew that that's where we were going to go. So a lot goes into building a staff. And I guess the bottom line is, is I think we got good continuity here, but I'm not scared of change as well. Can I ask you a, a lighter, easier question maybe? I was a teacher for almost 20 years, and I loved, right for the school year, meeting with my coworkers, my men. It got me excited about the year, thinking that there were things I was gonna focus on. When you're starting to spring camp, and you met with your other coaches, what are some things that get you excited about this spring camp? Every, every team is different, and this is the beginning stages of trying to figure out who your team is. You know, I, it, you know, what happened last year, what happened the year before, I mean, nobody cares, okay? Every year is different. And, you know, you wipe the, clay, the slate clean at the beginning of the year and you start building your team. And there's different phases, like I've talked about. I mean, our, we just had three weeks of the hunt, which was a very, very, very challenging three weeks physically and mentally for our team. We broke them down pretty good and they handled it pretty good. Our culture is a hardworking culture. Okay, and you'd be amazed of like some of the new coaches coming in, watching how we work in the off season. They're they're blown away with how hard our team works, and we're very proud of that. Now that doesn't mean we're going to be good, because you got to do a whole lot of other stuff. You know, there's just a whole lot more that goes into it. Okay, and, and we're going to start working on that tomorrow from a football perspective. You know, and you know building the staff the right way, building the roster the right way, uh, working hard. All that's been done. Now it goes into football for for five weeks, 
and then you hit the reset button and then you figure out what your team looks like June 1st. And so, you know, I'm excited about that process right now with where we're at. It's hard not to be excited about that group. Uh, you know, Dekeel Shorts has done an incredible job of recruiting uh, that room. Uh, we got good, solid guys coming back. You know, Matt Golden, uh, Man Jack, Sam Brown, those guys played a lot for us last year. Peyton Sawyer played a good bit for us last year. You know, you added guys like uh, Stephon Johnson, who is is pretty highly touted kid out of Dallas that, that, that did some good things at Oklahoma State. Um, Josh Cobbs, San Antonio kid that had great production at Wyoming, you know, and then CJ Nelson, you know, and then you got the Jacoby Banks who's here, you know, and then we all, I'm not gonna keep talking about the ones we signed, but the ones we signed are some guys I think some people are pretty excited about. So uh, there's no Tank and we love Tank and, and can't wait to watch him get drafted high. Wish him well, um, but uh, we got a lot of good ones coming back, and I'm more excited about you know coaching the heck out of that group. I was actually out in California with Toon uh, about a week ago. He looks good, you know, feels good, looks good. I think he's gonna improve his stock at the combine because now they start having one on one with these guys, you know, and he's an he's an intelligent, impressive uh, young man that when he has these one on ones with people, they're gonna be excited about him, you know. So him and Tank both. You know, it'd be good. Uh, our, our pro day's in like three weeks, you know, so we'll be able to get them on campus and watch them one more time prior to prior to the draft. The residual positive effects of your pitch match with the number one team in the country to catch a week like this. What, what, what are some thoughts about that, Dan? Oh, man, you can't, you <clears throat> can't begin to describe or explain what that's done for our university. Uh, so much respect for, for Coach Sampson and, and, and his program and I go to as many games as I can. I'm going to catch the last one on Thursday night, you know, maybe get into some tournament stuff after that. Uh, just so much fun to watch, but the amount of just positive, uh, you know, uh, you know, things out there being said about his program and the culture of his program and the kids that he's recruiting and, and the program that he's built is, is, uh, it, it is is very uh, is very fun to watch and very very cool what he's done for the university. I've I've had a lot of talks with him about about culture and about the University of Houston and and I think our goals are are are, are the same when it comes to where, where we're at as a university, where we're at as a program. Uh, hopefully, our football program gets to the point where we're having the amount of success that that the basketball team is here in the future. I'd hate to single out a couple. You know, we just. We got so many new guys, you know, but, you know, you got guys that, you know, last year, you know, how much is Jalen Emery going to make a step? You know, uh, Moses Alexander was eligible last year, and now he's eligible with three years to play. He's a six-foot-three corner that was highly touted in the SEC. You know, this A.J. Hossie that came in from New Mexico is, is a thumper, you know. Now, that's why I hate doing this because I'm going to leave some people out that I'm excited about. We've already talked at length with offense, uh, but how, how's, how Matt, how's Matt Burns going to progress? How's Eddie Henry going to progress? You know, how's uh, Jamari Caldwell uh, going to progress with an off season? You know, so I mean that that list is just so big. We got so many guys that have played a good bit, uh, and that they're going to get better. You know, and then the new guys that have, that are that are coming in, how are they going to compete? So, uh, man, I'm looking forward to the spring. Uh, I, I'm happy with where our program's at. I'm excited about the challenge that's ahead of us in the Big 12. Um, we've all seen the schedule and what those challenges are, and I'm excited about it. I've spent 16 years in the league. I know what's in there, you know, and I know where our program's at, and we're going to continue to build this thing, and, and, and tomorrow's step one for 2023.